This is Mary Omni from the House of King David, and this is a Republic Notice. The title of this Republic Notice is called Constitutional Non-Consent Preemptively Nullifies Same-Sex Marriage. Constitutional Non-Consent Preemptively Nullifies Same-Sex Marriage. Now, it's funny how the majority of whites in this country was unwilling to believe the Constitution, but then they walk around like pale drones when, they t when they're told to follow a law of same-sex marriage, but they were unwilling to follow the Constitution that made black citizens and treating blacks as if they were not citizens, using African-American as the term propagandized to try to treat blacks foreigners when they knew blacks was constitutional citizens. Now, they, don't want, they didn't want to follow the Constitution, but soon as these uh, judges of constitutional literacy tell them that same-sex marriage uh, it exists or, or, or is, is the law now, they follow that. So you see the silliness of the majority in corporate doctrines in this country. They are extremely silly, extremely silly, because they were willing to throw away the constitutionality of the black non-consenters and, uh, and adopt a globalist agenda. And whatever the globalists say, they like puppets and drones. And I'm talking about in these agencies, in, in those who squad in the states, somebody tells you something is law when you know it's against God's law, but you want to go here and suck Satan fowls anyway. Them judges, whatever them judges say, shouldn't mean a hill of damn beans to anyone who knows the Lord Jesus Christ and know this country and know the Bible. The judges should be looking like clowns that piss on themselves, really when they talk nonsense about a same-sex marriage. They should be looked on as retards or incapacitated or, or illiterate or consenters of their own incapacitation to make judicial decisions. Those judges fire themselves automatically constitutionally. Now, Proposition 8 that took place in California in 2008, I believe, uh, really made a statement because these were the constitutional citizens, as everybody agreed in majority, that made Proposition 08 successful, which um, National Organization of Marriage, you know, uh, solicited non consenters constitutional citizens, because they know they have a conservative outlook on marriage, and they collectively said yes to Proposition 8, yes, marriage is between a man and a woman. No, marriage cannot be other than those who can produce all persons born, that's born from a man and a woman. Now, what they don't understand about Proposition 8 is it banned gay marriages throughout the states because these are non consenter constitutional citizens, which means they national citizens, and they followed the Constitution and banned gay marriage throughout the states. There is no such thing as a gay or same-sex marriage. There can never be. They preemptively nullified forever, not only by constitutionality, already, because of all persons born, is born from two non consenters and they non-consent you acting like a child is not born because a child cannot be born from same-sex marriage and same-sex marriage pretends a child is not born in the Constitution but the Constitution has an all persons born which can only happen between a man and a woman. So therefore, the Constitution had already non-consented preemptively any same-sex marriage because a child can only be born from a man and a woman, and that's a preemptive non-consent to a same-sex marriage because they cannot produce what the Constitutional says a man and a woman produce. 
Now, the non-consent is the jurisdiction of the Constitution is non-consent jurisdiction. There are blacks have been with and under the jurisdiction, doesn't mean below, but within and the jurisdiction of the Constitution. They are the jurisdiction of the Constitution. They the only ones didn't volunteer to come to America, so they non-consented and are great, genius, constitutional writers, reconstructionists, made sure they was written historically in the Constitution, and they supreme them in a Constitution to make the Constitution non-consent, gave them non-consent legality. They was non-consenters as three-fifths, but they became non-consent legality, and the jurisdiction changed in 1865 to abolish slavery. So we have non-consent jurisdiction. Now, this may not mean a hill of beans, to those who want demons to dwell with them and want to fornicate with demons and want a Sodom and Gomorrah agenda and want to keep on trying to bleed the Constitution for privileges and to uh, 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 embezzle constitutional wealth for the majority of foreigners who are in here. These are foreigners that want to steal, really, and want to use the guise of some equality clause. And this is why we need to understand at this point that equality is no longer the issue. Constitutional supremacy and black supremacy as constitutional citizens is the law, is the law. You are not equal until you work 339 years in this country without a paycheck. Then your equality clause kicks in. Otherwise, you have, you have nothing to do with the equality clause, no more than a jelly bean. So you do not have no equal marriage rights, no equality, nothing. You don't even have the right to be here. You're non-consented in this country as a U.S. squatter. That's what the U.S. is full of, majority squatters. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. This is my country.